Hello there and welcome back to Egypt. In today's video, I am leaving the capital city Cairo and heading south to Luxor. And to get there, I'm going to be taking an overnight train and vlogging the experience on the sleeper class, showing you what it's like to travel down south here in Egypt. So join me as I make my way to the railway station here in Cairo right now. So I've just arrived here by the main railway station after taking an Uber. I've taken off my microphone just to draw less attention until I get on the train. The area around here is pretty bonkers as you're going to find out in a second as I walk towards the main entrance. across the road lots of people selling stuff outside the station here once you make it past the gate and into the grounds of the train station then it gets a lot more calm as you're walking in, walking past the traffic and all those stores, it is really crazy. So here we are now on the train, microphone back on. And so far I'm the only person in my cabin. Let me give you a quick tour. So here we are, this is the sleeper train to Luxor Aswan. I've claimed the bed on the top, my bag here and my larger bag in the space at the top. And a second bed underneath, but currently it's some seats. But actually it's kind of nice, modern and clean. The view of Ramses station outside, people waiting for their other trains, and my printable ticket, <laughs> which is easier than having to come to the station and get a physical ticket. Adjustable lights, temperature, and this one I guess is music, but when I turn it up, no music as of the moment. I have just made another discovery. Look at this. Hidden sink and mirror. And also a point to charge electricals. This ticket here is mainly designed for tourists, which is kind of why I wanted to review it. Guess how much it is to go to Luxor from Cairo overnight like I'm doing here. It's 80 US dollars for this cabin for the night and that includes a light meal which I'm going to receive shortly. All right and we're off leaving Cairo and we won't be arriving until 5.55 a.m. tomorrow morning. My first time trying the seat. It's kind of comfy actually. And if anyone's ever taken a night train before, you'll know often when you try and sleep, you sort of rock from side to side. I'm expecting a little bit of that tonight. What about the toilets on this class? Seat provided along with 
toilet paper if you come early enough I imagine they replace it and the sink here mirror just for your own peace of mind if you're not sure about what the toilets are going to be like So it's just after 6am and I've arrived here in Luxor. This is the train I was just on. The class I was riding I believe is just one carriage and the rest of the classes are all of a different nature. First images of downtown Luxor which is very quiet as it's so early none of the businesses and shops are open yet and I'm deciding to walk even though I've got all my stuff because I need to cross the river the Nile to reach the west bank where I'm staying the city center is in the east bank of Luxor and I believe it's only around 15 minutes to walk and I wanted to soak in a little bit of the town before I take the ferry across the Nile. So as I make my way, how was the journey on the Watania sleeper class? Well, it's good, it's very comfortable, it's very clean. It's a very convenient way to get to Luxor. You can sleep the night, you don't have to sit on a chair throughout the day. So in that sense, it's the best option. However, I probably would say that it is slightly overpriced for Egypt at around $80, considering the food was pretty dreadful, not gonna lie. It was just a bunch of sandwiches with not much inside. Considering it's advertised as a meal, it's more of a lunch box than anything else. Anyway, wow. First sight as I get to the Nile, you can see the Luxor temple behind me, which I'll get to in the coming days. But now to find the ferry port. First views of the Nile here in Upper Egypt. I'm currently on the Corniche, this walkway along the front. The West Bank where I'm staying on the other side, currently on the East Bank. The ferry port is just ahead. <laughs> So the ferry boat only takes a couple of minutes and it costs just five Egyptian pounds. I'm nearly at the other side already. And apparently it runs 24 hours a day, but I need to double check that. But most hours it's running, so even if you want to grab dinner in one side of the Nile, say the West Bank and you're staying in the East, then you can do that. So 
that's the ferry boat. I believe they leave every five or ten minutes. You can see the one departing the West Bank right now and where I came from on the other side. Now arrived here in my room where I'm staying on the west bank of Luxor and it's called Luxor Guest House. It's not sponsored but it's so nice that I thought I would share, especially the balcony view just here and the Nile ahead. Very quiet area, there's a swimming pool just below, rooftop and the bedroom living room, kitchen, and the view. Having taken a much needed nap, after having some breakfast at the hotel I'm staying at, which was very nice. By the way, I'm now walking along during the sunset hour, the West Bank, getting more of a feel of what it's like on this side of the Nile. Take a look at all this gorgeous farmland. And it's like this all the way down from the Nile Delta to the edge of Lake Nasser, running along either side, the East and West Bank have fertile farmland for slithers running parallel. And then it's the desert on either side. Hello, Hello Salaam Alaikum. <laughs> You have a kite? Yeah, yeah, kite. I'm not sure if my camera's picking it up, but it's yeah. up there. Welcome to Egypt. Shukran. Yeah. Walking down a little bit closer to get towards the banks of the Nile and see them up close. Uh, I look at that. Yeah, very small. small. Baby, baby goat. Yeah, beautiful. <laughs> uh. How old are you? What? Come on, trip. I'm okay. Thank you. Trip, no problem. Uh, ne shukran, shukran. This camp, this trip, no problem. Thank you. Some boats here. Some of them old and rusted, but quite atmospheric. Many empty cruise boats as tourists are down right now. across this great little place right in front of 
the river here. It's full of locals playing cards and having their late afternoon tea and actually a fantastic view of Luxor Temple on the other side directly in front here and surrounded by trees and birds chirping it's uh, great and Egyptian films playing on the TV too. stroll around there during the sunset time. I grabbed some dinner following the tea. There's been a change of plan. I'm leaving Luxor tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. to reach Aswan. Now I originally planned to explore Luxor first and make my way down the Nile and then go to Aswan and then Abu Simbel near the border with Sudan. But because I wanted to do a Nile cruise and 95% of the cruises are not running at the moment due to the fact there's such a low demand because of COVID, there's only one running from Aswan north back up to Luxor. So I'm taking the train down to Aswan tomorrow morning and then I'm gonna be starting to film my vlogs here in Upper Egypt in Aswan. Then I will go down to Abu Simbel come back to Aswan, take the Nile cruise north back to Luxor, and then once I'm back in Luxor, I will be exploring the temples that I originally intended to first, but because of this change of plan, I'm now doing it at the end. I love my time here on the West Bank. I hope I can probably stay in the same hotel uh, with this great view here. Anyway, I'm getting up early tomorrow morning and I will take you with me on my journey to Aswan to finish off this video. Good morning. I woke up at 4 a.m. Currently on my way to the train station, but first I have to take the ferry back across the Nile to reach it. Now on the train heading down to Aswan. It's around three and a half hours. I'm gonna be sleeping most of the time. And we're in the second class, I believe. And for a ticket, it's around 50 Egyptian pounds. So if you do take the night train down to Luxor first, and then want to go to Aswan afterwards by train, then you can do it very affordably. So I've now arrived here in Aswan. That's all for this video. I hope you got a small glimpse of what it's like to travel from Cairo to Luxor to Aswan by train. And I'll be coming back to Luxor and this is gonna continue by filming the vlog I'm about to do today here in Aswan. So join me in the next one. Peace.